Good morning, everyone. This is an important announcement for all pupils today, Tuesday, the 10th of November. Good morning, pupils. Um, you really need to listen and pay attention very closely to this information. Most of the information is directly for senior pupils. That's S4, S5 and S6. But there is exceptionally important information at the end of this presentation for junior pupils as well, S1, S2 and S3. So a letter has gone out to your parents today um, to give important information about the current situation that we find ourselves in at Ellen Academy. Overnight, the health protection team have identified several other members of staff who are now deemed to be close contacts to a known positive 19 case. So that, coupled with staff who are already absent for various reasons, leaves us in a position that we are unable to cover the full timetable for the next three school days. That's Wednesday, Thursday and Friday of this week. Despite having supply teachers in and many staff covering for absent colleagues, it's just a reflection of the times that we're in at the moment. So next week, we anticipate that things will be much, much better with half or more of the staff who are currently self-isolating. They will be back to their work on Monday and that will help us all to get back onto an even keel um, in the next week. So last night, with this information, the senior leadership team met last night and this is what we've planned for the rest of the school week. So for one day only this week, S4, S5 and 6 and S3 pupils will be asked to work from home for one day. So for example, tomorrow, Wednesday the 11th of November, there will be no S5 or S6 pupils in school. They will be working from home via Google Classroom. Now, a small group of S5 and 6 college pupils who are not self-isolating will be in the school at break and lunchtime for their breaks during their nest call courses. For five of our S5 and 6 ICT Software Development Foundation Apprenticeship pupils, they will still be expected to make their way to the school grounds at lunchtime to catch their bus for their placement in Aberdeen if they're not already self-isolating. So that's really important. Apart from those small exceptions, Wednesday, tomorrow, no S5 and 6, you will be working from home. On Thursday, the 12th of November, S5 and 6 pupils, you will be back into school for the rest of the week for Thursday and Friday. And on Thursday, there will be no S4 pupils in school and it will be your turn to work at home via your Google Classroom. On Friday, the 13th, S4, 5 and 6 pupils will all be in school as normal. But on Friday, there will be no S3 pupils in school. It will be your turn to work at home via Google Classroom. Now, we understand that this is not ideal but it is the reality of the situation that we find ourselves in this week because of the high level of staff absence. And we are so grateful to the staff who've already been covering for colleagues this week. And we'll ensure that appropriate work is up on Google Classroom for the S4s, S5s and 6s and the S3s who will be at home one of those next three days over the course of this week. The reason that we've chosen senior phase pupils to be out of school for one day at home this week is because we feel that senior pupils are much more likely to engage in the Google Classroom learning from home. And by asking senior pupils to work from home, this is less pressure for your parents regarding childcare because childcare will not be required for senior pupils as opposed to it might be for younger pupils who would be asked to stay at home. And this is an opportunity for senior pupils to experience a level of blended learning this week, because if there are future occurrences of this in school, we may find that in the future, a degree of blended learning could be the norm for a while. 
there's a huge communication strategy round about this and so many people have to be informed. The corporate communications from NHS, the head of service, the quality improvement officers, the director of education, our elected members, councillors, our campus partners, our parent council and the parents, um, you yourselves through this video, school transport, NESCO, foundation apprenticeships, all of these people in these organisations have to be informed of these plans and that's what the senior leadership team are working on today to make that plan, to tell you about the plan in plenty of time so that you and your parents can be aware of what is happening. We really thank you for your continued support and but what we really need to stress to everyone is that we can't be complacent. It's been in the news last night and today that there, there could be a, a, an effective vaccine, but it isn't here yet. COVID hasn't gone away. We can't be complacent, complacent in our daily practice in and out of school. We must remember to wash and sanitise hands. We must be wearing our face coverings and we must be adhering to the two metre distance between pupils and staff. This is exceptionally important and we continue to express these messages to all of our pupils and staff to be aware of the various risks and mitigations that are in place for the safety of everyone and we can't rest, we must be really adhering to these mitigations and not being complacent in how we go about our daily lives. So thank you for listening. Please, if you have any questions, you can ask your guidance teachers, you can ask senior leadership, and we will do our very best to answer the questions that you have. Remember, this is just one day a week for Wednesday for S5 and 6, Thursday for S4, and Friday for S3. The dress down day for children in need on Friday will still go ahead. So you are welcome to come to school in appropriate dress for school, albeit dressed down and bring a pound for children in need, which will be collected at the pupil doors and at the reception doors. Thank you for listening and please ask any questions of members of staff if you have them.